Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change your Outlook profile picture in mobile. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. Let's get started. So if you're looking for a way to basically change your profile picture here via the Outlook uh, or Outlook's mobile uh, mobile app here, well, there are a few things that you need to understand. Now, the thing with the mobile app or Outlook here is if you try accessing their settings here, there's no option for us to basically update our profile picture this way so which is something really unfortunate but the great thing about this one is there is another way or a uh, alternative that you could try doing here to update our profile picture now instead of accessing the actual app here we need to open up any browser now in the browser you want to go and just type in outlook login just search for it now from here you should see outlook login let's go ahead and click on it and from here you just need to click on sign in and from here, let's go and click on continue to sign in and basically just log in into our account. So let's go and just provide those details. But once you've signed in, we're now ready to start updating our photo picture. Now at the top right of your screen, you want to go and click on your per, uh, personal icon or your uh, current profile picture here. And you want to go and just choose the option here that says my Microsoft account. Now from here, it should open up your Microsoft account here, which also should contain your profile picture. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now once you've logged in, you, you want to go and click on the top right icon here and just choose the My Profile option. Now this should redirect you to your profile, which should contain the option for you to update your profile photo. Let's go and click on Change Photo. And from here, you can just click on Change Photo or Remove Photo here. Now if you choose Change Photo, you need to go ahead and just choose the photo that you may want to use here and just basically click on Save once you're done. And in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.